Sergey Heritov versus Mike Russo. A Division One wrestler, four-time All-American, and really Heratonov has shown a weakness from working off his back, which is really where he's lost both of his last two big fights, getting stuck on his back and taking punishment from the top. Uh, you know, this is interesting also for the fact that you got Russo, the police officer, fighting the Russian paratrooper yeah. special forces. <laughs> sort of an armed conflict. I think it could be an offshoot for Pride, huh? <laughs> no. Just, just for my personal sake, I'm a little nationalistic, so I like to go with the, I'm gonna go with the American police officer. That's just, just how I feel about it. Especially and that has since nothing to do with what happened to you in Russia with the officials, huh? Nothing at all. But, <laughs> but not to mention, my fiance is from Chicago, and if I pick anything but Chicago in this fight, I'm gonna get beat up when I get home. <laughs> okay. In the red corner, Sergey Haritonov. Simi Schilt is a guy I've had some experience with, and he is an incredibly tough fighter. His fists are as big as, you know, it's like getting hit with rocks when he hits you. And Heratana played smart, took him down, pinned him up, and just went to town on his face. You know, Heratana may be bad off his back, but on top, he's absolutely deadly. Heratana and Russo. In the blue corner, standing six feet two inches tall, weighing 255 pounds, from the United States of America, Mike Russo. In the red corner, standing six feet four inches, weighing 242 pounds, from Russia. Saki, the referee in charge. There is Russo going against Karatanov. Karatanov. Good. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go! Come on! It is Karatanov with the black knee bands. Both fighters wearing black Double trunks. Chair, 
Karatanov is quite a big man, actually, even if he is giving up weight. And, and also, with this size, he's got a reach. Did you hear that left leg kick he just landed on Russo's knee? Wow. Well, it's pretty obvious Russo doesn't want any part of the standing. Nice inside trip by uh, Heratonov to get back on top. Yeah. Russo still staying, staying strong, going to the single, to the body lock, and now space favors Heratonov. Now, Russo doesn't want to trade punches with this guy, but he does have power. It's just that Russo hasn't been at it that long with a stand-up. But you guys, what you're seeing here too, guys, you have to remember is that these guys are heavyweights, and most Americans used to seeing heavyweights, they're slow and lethargic. These guys are extremely, very, very athletic, and Hartikhanov actually has the advantage of the athletic ability because he moves so much quicker, even though, like you said, Josh, he's giving up a little bit of weight. Right, exactly. Hartikhanov is a good physical specimen, not to mention he's got great trainers like Volkan and Iluyuki Misha, well versed in Sambo and submission, favoring the leg lock game. What an evolution of the heavyweights in MMA we've seen. As you mentioned, a lot of people see them as slow, lumbering, but through the years, it has just been Darwin's theory at work, where you see the best and the best coming to the fore. They're like linebackers now in the NFL, where they're just so quick and strong. Well, look at some of the best heavyweights in the world. You look at, uh, oh wow, great straight right. So, yeah. You look at like uh, Barney Adam, of course, with a guy like, like Fedor Malienko. These guys are, oh, incredibly quick. Fast hands. And now Russo trying to get on top. He was a Division I wrestler at Eastern Illinois. Smart move by Russo to go for the pass instead of being content to hang in on the guard. Caught the low kick and tripped him by picking the heel up. Karatanov now working basically from what I said before is his worst position. Yeah, this this is really, really Sergey's gonna have a hard time in this position. He always does traditionally, and I may have worked out in the last in his last training camp. But traditionally, he has a really tough time in here. As I was just saying before he went to the ground, how quick the heavyweights are, and you saw how Russo caught that leg kick and dropped him down. Well, Karatanov coming in with a chip on his shoulder after losses to Alexander Emelianenko and Alistair Odery. He needs a win. Well, surprisingly, Russo has not been content to, he's not looking for a ground and pound attack. Maybe he is oh, now with his yeah. mouth, but he was looking for the top wrist lock in the armbar earlier. I think he wants the submission. Oh, he's looking for the neck right now. One of the problems that Russo's trying Trainer says that their man has it. He's used to Division One wrestling where you get back points, you're scoring points. He doesn't finish the action when he gets on top. He's got to do that tonight. Rolling out, trying to take the single to recover from his bad position there, putting Karatana back onto his hip. Russo needs to circle towards the head and put Karatana back onto his back and work that submit, tight submission game. Double wrist locks, top wrist locks. Moves that are not going to put him in a bad position. Frank, were you leading that USA chair behind us? You know, and that's one of the things that, that I kind of like about when we're, we're here, in, uh, here in Vegas is that there's a lot more USA chance because, uh, of course, wrestling punches out. Oh, my gosh. Russo does it again. Off the single leg there. <laughs> that was uh, very familiar. We get to see that a lot in Division One wrestling. And, of course, Russo is actually going back to his roots again. But, you know, getting back to USA chant, it's one of the things I kind of like when, when we're here in town, when we're here, here in Las Vegas is that the, the people really do get behind their, their, their athletes by their national origin. It, it's kind of something you don't see very much in other countries outside the U.S., but here we get a lot of it. And it, it actually, for me, it's a comforting feeling. Well, you know, in Brazil, though, you might get stabbed over being like something else. They get pretty upset when you go against the grave. Nice armbar by Karatana, but Russo's got his elbow out of looks. He's still staying in there. Oh, it's bad news by Russo. It's it, it's it, it's it, it's it. Is that it? Russo had the opportunity to get that arm free. It was great positioning by Karatanov. No, he's, 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 he's tapping out and tap. He looked like he was tapping to me, and most certainly, he looked like he fell asleep down there getting that arm, letting it hang in there for Karatanov to jump on it. Wow, Three what a turnaround. Russo said it was fine, but Mario Yamasaki, the referee, saw or heard or saw some movement from Russo that indicated tap. Yeah, I could have swore I saw Russo's hand on the leg tapping. Well, uh, Yamazaki's not going to call this for no reason.